Well, hi everyone, I'm Mayor Patrick Hall, and I'm here with all the highlights from the February Ordinary Council meeting, the first meeting of 2024, and what a night it was. Firstly, four options were presented to Council as to the future development and outcome of the former Kenning Lodge site, located at Herald Avenue in Willerton. Ultimately, Council has decided to endorse the fourth option, which will see the demolition of the Canning Lodge buildings, allowing for future land or development options for that site, and that's a big decision. Proposals for the future uses of the site will be presented to Council at a later date. Following that decision from the Ordinary Council meeting in December of 2023, Council has endorsed a scheme amendment for the proposed environmental conservation boundary at Lot 500 at 81 Ranford Road in Canning Vale. Aligning with the city's local biodiversity strategy, this scheme amendment will ensure the classification of the area as an environmental conservation area, which will align with its designation as a Bush Forever site. That's a fantastic outcome. This scheme amendment will also now be referred to the Environmental Protection Authority and Western Australian Planning Commission for further public consultation. And in great news for residents in Willerton, Council has endorsed a tender which will see the delivery of significant upgrades at the Rostrata Family Centre and the nearby Prendwick Pavilion building. Some of the upgrades at the Rostrata Family Centre include additional floor space, storage and improved accessible amenities based on the use from community groups at the facility. At Prendwick Pavilion, we will also see additional storage added as well as improved and accessible amenities, gender neutral change rooms and an upgraded social space to better cater to the needs of the sporting clubs that use those facilities. What a fantastic outcome. Now shifting over to Canningvale and the Canningvale Oval, Council has also endorsed a tender for the upgrade of the Canningvale Pavilion building at that location. After consultation from the community around these upgrades, key improvements such as an additional storage area and gender neutral facilities will be made, with toilets and changing rooms also being added. Also at this month's meeting, Council endorsed the City's reconciliation strategy for 2024 to 2028, helping to further strengthen our relationships with local Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. The strategy has been developed in consultation and collaboration with our local community, and it seeks to focus on three key areas, including organisational capability, celebrating culture and learning, as well as economic empowerment. Finally, and this is great news, Council has also endorsed the submission of two projects for the consideration of grant funding to the State Government's Club Night Lights Program. That's a mouthful. The two projects in order of priority are the Ranford Oval Sports Lighting Installations and lighting upgrades at Ross Moyne Bowling Club. Much needed. Should the application be successful, delivery of these projects will essentially reduce by up to half the total cost uh, to the community and most importantly improve access to these sites for year-round sporting activities for our whole community. The final item on the night was Council's support of a notice of motion which authorised me to write to the relevant Minister raising concerns that this Council has about the toll on greyhounds at the Cannington Greyhound Track. We're writing to the Minister to raise our concerns about the death and injury toll at that track, simply calling for the State Government to suspend racing at the Cannington Track until a full independent review has been undertaken. Now that's a big step for this Council. But sometimes things need to be said, which simply need to be said. We have to use our voice when we have one. I thank the Council for their support of that notice of motion and I look forward to the Minister's response. Well, that really is all from me today, everyone. If you'd like any more information on any of the key decisions that were raised earlier and outcomes from this month's Council meeting, please visit the City of Kenning's website and look for Agendas and Minutes. Just Google it, it'll pop up miraculously. Thanks, everyone.